Adventures in Pixie Land presents your daily energy reading. Your daily astrology reading for April 2nd, 2024 is the waning crescent moody moon in Taskmaster Capricorn, trying disruptive Uranus in foundational Taurus, working independently while being willing to try new tasks or skills will help you find the solutions without the stress of perfection or answering others' questions. Enjoy the freedom. Today's Elder Futhark Daily Rune for April 2nd, 2024 is Perthro. Perthro, the letter P, the meaning vessel or cup. It's association, change, hidden information, truths, and secrets. Today, your focus is about seeking out the truth or information that is hidden behind the veil so you can make the required changes from an educated place. Your daily romance angel oracle card for April 2nd, 2024 is let go of control issues. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. The romance angels have heard your prayers about your love life. Now it's up to you to allow their help to manifest by stepping out of the way. By trying to control other people or external circumstances, you'll only frustrate yourself and slow down your answered prayer. There are plenty of times in life that call for you to take charge, but this isn't one of them. Of course, it's fine to have your preferences practice visualizations, and hold intentions. Definitely ask the angels for your desires. This card is a reminder, however, that your prayer may be answered differently from what you had in mind. Be open to all the possibilities and trust in God's infinite wisdom and compassionate love. Control issues are based upon fears that others, including God, won't live up to your expectations. This is also called outlining, where you hand the universe a script of how you want it and everyone to behave. Outlining could cause you to overlook an even more beautiful way in which your prayers may be answered. So please call on the romance angels to elevate your levels of trust so that you can enjoy the creative avenues by which true love comes to you. Your daily fairy wisdom oracle card for April 2nd, 2024 is Discovery. Card 15, Discovery. Potential. Learn something new today. It is a time to open your eyes and examine what's really in your world. Is it of your liking? Is your view of reality encompassing all that it can? It is a time to open up your unlimited potential. Delve into life and discover all that is there for your asking. Step out of your comfort zone and try something new. Start a new hobby. What is it that you have always wanted to do but put on the back burner? It is time to do it. Get involved with others. Join a group or club. Take a class in something that sparks your interest. Expand upon your life experience in ways that promotes your well-being. Be open to new ideas and new ways of seeing things. Listen to others' views with an open mind. There's a lot you can add to your life by being open and accepting of change. Life is always evolving and constantly offering up opportunities for growth. Go with it and grow and learn as much as possible. Your chant, open me to that which enriches my life and the lives of others through me. Show me the realms of possibilities and the mysteries of life. I ask for guidance in all that I do and I open myself to accept this help and to acknowledge its presence. I now see clearly what is around me and what is behind me and what is before me. I am so blessed. So be it. Your daily starseed oracle card for April 2nd, 2024 is cracked open. Cracked open. 
rock bottom, surrender to the alchemy of life. Don't let the weight and density of the world squash your tender spirit. Instead, let it call even more of it home into your body, at the center front of your life. It is through the extreme pressure of life's trials that diamonds are cultivated. It's when things are at their darkest that we cultivate proper faith and our light is ignited. It's through the crumbling that we can allow our wounds to be alchemized. Let your pain, sorrow, and losses make you, not break you. Let life alchemize your tragedies into gold. Be open to being cracked open, wide open. It is the difficult times that help us grow in leaps and bounds in ways we could only dream were possible. But first, they have to crack us open. Sometimes it hurts like hell. It's nature's way. Whether you let it happen or not, it's going to happen. So surrender to the process. It's how the light gets in. When your heart cracks open, a space is created for your soul to more fully enter. When your soul cracks open, a space is created for grace of the Holy Spirit to enter. Let your trials, your sorrows, your pains, and your losses transform you into more and more of yourself. Stay open to the possibilities of your tragedies, your losses, your sorrows, and your hurts happened for you, not to you. Bless the thing that broke you down and cracked you open, because the world needs you open. Surrender to the alchemy of life. Your starseed soul inquiry? How can you let life crack you open? Your Daily Priestess of Light Oracle card for April 2nd, 2024 is River of Blessings. River of Blessings. Releasing Constraints. The Priestess of Purification holds out a bowl of blessed water. Overflowing in your direction, the all-seeing jaguar brings his power of creation into your life, heralding a significant positive change in your circumstances. You may have been experiencing a time of challenges, such as financial constraints, living paycheck to paycheck, or going deep into debt. Your restrictions, however, may have been a more emotional nature. Perhaps you've been lonely missing a romantic, familial, or friendly love, or even a lack of joy from the ongoing tediousness of life could be a great limitation for you. But whether these restrictions have been long-lasting or recent, this card reveals new powerful forces flowing into your life, breaking through even severe limitations of the past. Your difficulties may have been very hard to bear, but this has been a time of profound purification for you. The priestess is blessing your rebirth after suffering, giving you the jaguar's ability to view your experience with sharp-eyed clarity, a release of attachment that brings the promise of achievement. Whatever limitations you have endured, a beneficial solution is coming your way. So rest assured, the old issues will be resolved. As you go through your day, bless yourself with clear intention. See any restrictions as merely a part of your passage from purification to personal progress. Just as the Jaguar has a unique visual acuity, your own inner visions are coming into sharp focus. Be ready to become an even greater reality. In fact, this river of blessings will carry you far beyond anything that you have imagined. 
your affirmation. I release attachment and restriction. I am blessed and purified, ready to receive ever the ever expanding flow of value in my life. Your daily energy reading for April 2nd, 2024 is the astrology is telling you to avoid any frustrations. Work alone today. You'll make great progress. I mean, it did Mercury just go retrograde yesterday. I mean, so for it's going to be a bit now. Perth says you need to adapt to these new inputs. The Romance Oracle reminds you that for you to have love or for to be love there must always be free will so let them work in quiet today the fairies ask if you are happy with your life the way it is if yes carry on if no then what are you doing about that the starseed oracle reminds you that the path to healing is actually the path to surrender to the divine energies the Priestess of Light Oracle reminds you that if one is obsessed with a topic, we actually push it further away from our grasp by, well, obsessing about whether or not we can achieve it. You can't question if you can achieve it. You have to be certain you can achieve it. If you feel like you are not ready, then you are not. And this is your free will. There must always be free will. Yes, people can be frustrating and we want them to behave how we want them to behave. Too bad. You cannot take away their free will and call it love. Creator doesn't take free will away from us. You have no right to take free will from any other person. I don't care if that's 3D or 5D. If you need consent in the 3D, you need consent in the 5D. That's just a hands down. If you must ask permission every single time, then you must ask permission every single time. We surrender to the divine will. We can't be doing things that the divine can't do because it's not in the love vibration and then say we're doing the work of the divine. No, if you're taking away someone's free will, you're doing the work of the opposition. If you don't like that idea or that energy, too bad. You must embrace these new inputs and bring them into your life or suffer the karmic consequences. Magic has been over top of people for a very long time. A few years ago, a giant spell was broken. It removed any of the ancient magics put on generation after generation upon multitudes of people across all continents that was forcing them to take on the karma of their forefathers because it is not correct. If they have changed their behavior in their present day life, they do not get the karma from their forefathers. The moment that that happens, that cord is cut and that karma has to hit someone. So it hits the people who instituted the inequity in the first place. That is what the free will release does. So if you don't like how your life is going, first look at the steps that you are taking where you are trying to force other people into a place that you want them through your emotional manipulation. If you're trying to make someone else feel loss and lack, then when karma hits you, you will feel loss and lack. If you were trying to steal somebody's money, you will be broke. If you are trying to assault someone on the 5D plane in some way, in whatever method that might be, medically, physically, sexually, it doesn't matter. If they're not consenting in the 3D, you are committing assault. You have to ask in the 3D. And if you're trying to do anything else, be prepared for that to hit you. If you want something, be ready to, ready to heal, ready to surrender it to the divine, ready to make new inputs, ready to integrate the lessons you are learned. Once you know better, you are expected to do better. No, you don't get two weeks, three months, 44 years, or several thousand years. If you 
number yourself amongst people who are religious and you have existed in this lifespan where the Torah, the Quran, or the Bible, if you're falling into any of those, or whatever documentation, book documents that you follow for whatever religion you might intend to be, for as long as those documents have been in existence telling you you can't do those things, that's how long you've known. So you've known your whole existence, essentially, at least in the vessel that you're in. So no excuses for not following the rules that are in the document that you say you follow in the first place. He didn't stutter. Everyone gets free will. That's just what is. If you're already doing these things and it doesn't apply to you, you're likely not frustrated unless people are trying to do them to you. Your frustration is natural. You have a right to defend yourself. Cut whatever ties you like. Don't be worried about what happens to them. They weren't worried about what happens to you. Anybody who doesn't like that side of the equation and wants to be like, wait, 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 wait. act right. If something's not coming to you, it could be because it's not supposed to be. Don't obsess. Go within, ask those questions. You have to talk to creator yourself. Everybody has to do their own homework. Everybody has to integrate their own lessons. So if you don't like what's going on, integrate the inputs that you've been giving. Find the daily habit that you can change that brings your life closer to what you're attempting to achieve. You don't need permission to go to bed earlier, to wake up earlier, or do any of those other things. To start a workout plan, to eat different, to treat people better. You don't need permission from anybody to start doing those things. Just start doing them. You can turn over a new leaf any given moment. In a moment, it's only 90 seconds long. There are a lot of moments in the day. I fully encourage you. Be the best version of you. It's completely worth it.